What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're in the Tuesdale Estates neighborhood here in Beverly Hills and about to tour this newly constructed modern home right behind me. This house has five bedrooms, five full baths, two half baths, approximately 7,474 square feet of interior space, built on a 32,871 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $16,995,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the listing agent, Sally Forster Jones, for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. Now, let's begin. From the street level, we have the gates opening up to this private motor court. I really like the patterns on the floor with these grass sections right here. Three car garage with a glass garage doors. House is a very minimalist modern architecture. I love all the wood tones brought in with the siding finish. Not to mention we have this massive overhang design. Underneath it is also clad with the same wood. And we have the entry right here. Let's go check it out. Here we are at the entry. Beautiful glass pivoting door. We have picture windows on each side and a clear story window right above, bringing natural light into the entry. Now, in front of me, we have the bar, family room, kitchen, dining area, all opening up to the beautiful backyard with incredible views. But before we cover that section, we have two wings. Left wing, we have the office, movie theater, and two spacious guest suites. Right wing, we have the garage, guest suite, and the laundry room. So we're gonna start here. In case you want to seal this section off, there you go, we got a nice pocket door right here. Beautiful wall sconces, and the door at the end opens up to the three car garage that opens up to the motor court. First door here opens up to the first guest suite. Nice and spacious, we have high ceilings, recessed lights, built-in closet on this side. And as we follow, we have a window assembly here with automatic shades and a beautiful bathroom for this bedroom marble everywhere we have marble slabs on the floors walls with a fabricated bench design beautiful brass fixtures skylight above bringing natural light into the bathroom and a floating vanity design with the same marble used on the floors as a countertop setup right here with a vessel sink now getting out of this bedroom the second room here is the laundry room washer dryer upper cabinets this is my favorite detail. Concrete modern farmhouse sink. Check it out, it's really cool. And I really like the simple faucet design with a grapey handle. And this room actually continues into a powder room with same finishes, floating vanity, marble countertops with a vessel sink. And we have an exterior door here because this actually serves as your pool bathroom as well. Now let's go back to the hallway and we're basically back at the entry. Now let's go check out the other wing of the house. First room on our left is the powder room for the first floor, for the main floor of this house. Coat closet. And right here we have the powder room. Beautiful vanity design with wood tones. And I love the natural stone countertops with a big reveal right here. Clear story windows above, bringing natural light in, kind of carrying the design elements of the house throughout. Skylight above. LED lit mirror, and Mikey, let's get a close up. We got a beautiful faucet here, fabricated countertops with hidden drains, and check this out. These handles are pretty cool. We've been seeing some uh, cool fixtures lately. That's, that's one of the more unique ones we've ever seen. And look how it has the little uh, stones or blue and red for hot and cold. Exactly, there you go. Beautiful, gorgeous powder room. Now, let's go back to the hallway and room across. Come on in guys, movie theater. It's nice and cozy. We have plush carpet on the floors, comfortable seating, screen on this side. And right here we have the bar area. This is where you store all your glassware, your drinks, your popcorn machine, and Mikey, let's get a close up. You even get a mini fridge here. Yeah, you got a little, uh, couple wine racks on the bottom there too. There you go. Your microwave, and before we leave this movie theater, right behind me, each corner for the room, they kind of clad with this 
section right here gives it a little bit of a curve. It's you know, really cool. You know why they did that? Why? And uh, audio, um, 90 degree angles are your worst nightmare when you're trying to soundproof a room. Really? So, since it's a movie theater, they don't want uh, all those harsh reflections of the sound bouncing around the room. There you go, you learn something new every single day. I just did. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the hallway. And right across, we have the office. We have the desk situated right here. I like the location of this room because it's close to the entry. We have these Fleetwood doors stacking into the wall right here, opening up to this patio space dedicated to the office. You can exit through and access to your motor cart. Yeah, and I love uh, the bamboo they have here, just giving a little added privacy to your seating area out there. I agree, I think it's a, such a good complement to an office to have a little bit of an outdoor space. Agreed. Now, this counts as one of the bedrooms. That's why we have a full bathroom here, again with stone floors and walls and a floating vanity design right here. And this is where we have the closet. Now, let's go back to the hallway. We have the hallway storage here. And at the end of this hallway, we have two spacious guest suites. Let's start with this one. Another spacious guest suite. We have the clear story window detail also here, bringing a lot of natural light in. This is a side facing bedroom. Bed is situated on this side. Right here, we have the walk-in closet. And of course, this one also has a beautiful bathroom with a floating vanity design. Same countertop was also used to fabricate the sink with brass finishes. Oh, there you go. Just recognize another detail. Medicine cabinet. They have some really cool bathrooms in here. All the bathrooms are beautiful. Yeah. And we have a tub set up here. Same stone was also used as a surround. Skylight above. Now, right across. Guest suite number two. What? Well, actually, this will be three. Two on this side. And again, very spacious. We have the fleet with doors opening up to the side of the property. Every single, let's see, lower. Every single bedroom gets automatic shades, which is really cool. Now let's kick it back up. Mikey, let's get a close up. We have the walk-in closet right there. Bed is situated on this side. And right here, we have another beautiful bathroom. I love how they use single slabs pretty much throughout. Floating vanity design and a beautiful walk-in shower. They use the same stone also on the floors all the way into the walk-in shower and even the walk-in shower gets a skylight right here. And we just toured the three guest suites, office and the movie theater. Now let's hop back to the entry so we can talk about the common spaces. Now we're back at the entry. We just finished touring this wing of the house. And as we continue our tour, right in front of us, we have the formal dining room area. Nice and spacious. We have a table for eight. We can actually add two more chairs so you can see 10 people here. Beautiful chandelier right above. We have cove lighting detail on the ceiling and these walls are perfect for you to feature your art. Not to mention, we have these flea doors, again, stacking all the way inside of the wall, opening up the formal dining room area to the side patio. Overall, great space off of the entry. Now, right across, this might be my favorite part of this home, the bar area. Let's start here. We have a beautiful wine fridge, wine display here, temperature controlled, and the bar. I love all the wood tones and the vertical wood details on the face of the bar. Looks really cool. We have the bar seating right here and the pendant lights right above. And the same marble countertop continues and wraps around as a waterfall edge. Mikey, let's get a close up on all these uh, details and the veins. Looks so good. That's yeah, really nice. Now, the same countertop kind of wraps around on this side as well. This bar has a lot of amenities, so I want to cover it all. We have the sink right here. We have an ice bin right here, which is a really cool detail. You guys may see these in like commercial bars, but this is where you put all your bottles of drinks, throw in a bunch of ice, keep everything cool, easy to serve. It's a cool detail. Yeah, it's really nice to have. It kind of shows how uh, kind of tailored this kitchen is to entertaining and, pros and parties, you know? Agreed, agreed. We got a lot more amenities to see, but the natural stone countertops continue. Beautiful marble wraps around. And let's cover this section. Well, we have a small fridge here. Wine fridge on this side. Ooh, a detail just actually hit me. Mikey, let's get a close up on these handles for a second. You see how grippy they are? Let's see You here. see the texture on them? It's kind of hard to see the texture. Um, let's try that. Yeah, I think you can see that. There you go. So door handles in this house, faucet handles, and now the cabinet handles all have the same texture. Talking about attention to detail, they even want a uniform to all that. Next time we see a bedroom door, let's check it out. We can show it to everyone. All right, let's do it. It's really cool. We have more open shelving right here. Again, same marble was also used here as a backdrop. And we have an ice maker here. Refrigerator drawer, 
Yeah, okay, you weren't lying, they really... I mean, they have everything in this, uh, in this bar. Overall, it's a great bar that really complements this section of the house. Right between the kitchen and the bar, we have a little bit of a seating area, and that's where we have the front door. And now, let's talk about this beautiful kitchen. I mean, where do I even start? We have dual islands, all clad with beautiful marble, skylights above bringing natural light, plenty of cabinetry, and we even have the clear story windows right above the cabinetry bringing natural light. Let's start with this section first. We have appliance drawers here, your espresso maker, small sink here, upper cabinets, more built-ins, another appliance drawer. Let's cover the island first. Check this out. We have... Hmm. Always fun. Always fun, right? These Miele dishwashers. Uh, we actually have another one right here. This is where you have your main sink. A cabinetry continues. We have beautiful waterfall edge on the islands. This door opens up to the pantry with plenty of storage. More storage on this side. Your paneled fridge and freezer. And the flat panel cabinetry continues. We have the same marble countertops also here. Also has a backsplash. LED lighting underneath. Gas cooktop with a pot filler. And as we continue, we have more built-ins on this side, double of everything, and exterior door that opens up to the outdoor barbecue area. Yeah, we'll see that in a minute. We'll see that in a minute. Overall, beautiful kitchen. I mean, these islands might be my favorite details within the kitchen. Mikey, let's get a close-up on these corners. They look so cool. And I mean, having a dual island is just such a plus. Yeah. Beautiful chandeliers above. Overall, great kitchen, all opened up to the living room and the bar areas. Now, continuing this way, we have another informal dining area, all opening up to the backyard, beautiful fleet with doors, stacking on this side, chandelier above, and let's talk about the family room. Nice and spacious. Again, this level is all open, so from here I can see the kitchen, bar area, all the way to the entry. Beautiful linear gas fireplace, all clad with marble. It's actually book matched right in the center. I don't know if you guys can see behind the TV, but everything is aligned perfectly. We have the TV situated on this side. Built-ins on each side of the fireplace. Let's get a little close up. I love the wood tones and kind of the mid-century influence throughout the house. And we can see the wood veneer also here. Again, natural stone countertops. Everything has a nice LED lighting underneath. And this is where we have the seating area for you to sit down, watch your TV, look towards your backyard, and enjoy this house. Also, another detail I want to mention, the amount of clear story windows they have throughout the whole home. We have it all the way around this side of the house. Yeah, and I really love the way the architects uh, played with light in this home. Like we have the clear story windows, the skylights in the kitchen. Over here in the dining room, uh, there's no skylights, but there's these LED strip lights. It kind of gives the illusion of a skylight and gives kind of a more warm light. Same with this bar and in all the bathrooms. It's just really unique. I agree. Also having the whole space open really maximizes the light that comes into the property. Yeah. Now, this is the last wing of the house, which is where we have the primary bedroom. So come on in. At the end of the hallway, we have the bedroom and these two pocketing doors open up to the primary bathroom. Very spacious bathroom. We have the same hardwood floors also in the bathroom and double vanity setup. Let's get a close up here. We have a beautiful Calcutta marble with a big reveal, floating vanity design. Again, fabricated sink with a hidden drain. Mikey, let's get a close up on that uh, handle. You see the texture on it? Yeah. Like I mentioned at the bar setup, and we have the duplicate one on the other side. Right in the center, we have a freestanding tub with a floor mount tub filler, beautiful chandelier above. Even here, natural light. We have two skylights bringing natural light into this bathroom. And right behind me, we have the massive walk-in shower. Mikey, let's get another close-up. Talking about the textures, there you go. Even Textured handles everywhere. Everywhere. It's really cool. I love how they unified that detail throughout the whole house. Yeah. And the marble continues here. We have the bench design, shampoo niche, and double of everything. We have the brass fixtures on this side and the other side as well. Of course, it's a steam shower and the rain head right in the center. Gotta have that rain head in the center. You gotta have it. Now, we have a water closet on that side and another water closet here. Going this way, we have the closets here. This is the first one. We have more darker tones here. Again, complemented with the same brass handles. Marble on this side looks gorgeous. You have everything you need, wardrobe setup, your shoe racks, open shelving, hangers, the big mirror to see yourself once you're done dressing up. And even here, you have a skylight above. 
The other side is where we have the second closet. Now this one is a little bit bigger. Whoa. It's almost three times the size. And I mean, where did I even start? I, lo I love just how different it is from the one next door already. Significantly different, uh, but it's maximized so well. I guess let's start here. We have the island set up here. Cool touch, we have marble sides, but glass top. So you can see kind of what you have inside of your drawers. Bit of a makeup area over there, right on top to complement the island setup. We have the skylight. Open shelving continues. Mikey, let's get a close up on these hangers. You see how they have built in LED lighting inside of the hangers? We've never seen that before. We've never seen that before, exactly. It's definitely a unique touch. I bet it would look really cool with a bunch of clothes in there, also. It would. More storage. We have the hangar space. Again, shoe racks on this side. Beautiful oval skylight right above us, bringing natural light in. You even get a little seating area in your closet, which is great. Yeah, it's really cool. What else we have left? I mean, you guys saw it all. We have, the, again, island set up here, makeup area on this side. Now let's go back to the hallway so we can see the bedroom. Since this is the primary bedroom, it's the most spacious. Again, gets a ton of natural light. We have the fleet with doors stacking on this side, opening up to the backyard and incredible views. I mean, take a look at it. These are the views you get from your bedroom and we have automatic shades around. In fact, let's hit that. Well, there you go. You need some privacy. You got it. Yeah, it's really nice. And every room as well, right? Every room, which is a really cool touch. Now let's put those back up. And what else we have? We have the king size bed situated on this side. Beautiful fireplace. Again, book match right in the center. We have the TV situated on this side. You get your gas fireplace. And we have a lot of fleet with doors actually opening up the patio space and the backyard. Let's start opening them up. So. Access to your patio. We have another one right here. They all tuck behind the gas fireplace. And this big one right here, opening up your bedroom to your backyard space. Now we have the whole bedroom opened up to the patio and the backyard and incredible views. I mean, super nice. Before we cover kind of the backyard and the pool section, Let's go toward the patio, which is right here in your primary bedroom actually opens up here as well. Limestone floors. We have another fireplace here with an outdoor TV and we have this overhang design clad with wood. And on the ceiling, we have the space heaters, recessed lights, built-in speakers, and even these skylights bring in natural light to the patio space. From here, we can get a really good look at the house, living room, dining area, all opened up to the patio space, outdoor dining area. And we have these water features kind of throughout the property, complementing the backyard. We mentioned this section when we were touring the kitchen, your outdoor barbecue area with Wolf Gas Barbecue. And now let's talk about the view and the actual backyard. We have more outdoor seating area here and the walkway is taking us up to the infinity edge pool. Let's just appreciate these views. They're great. It's very peaceful and tranquil up here. We have all these canyons in front of us. It's quite private. And we have the AstroTurf section right here off of the bedroom with a hammock set up on the side. Yeah, it's really, really nice out here. And we've toured a lot of homes in Beverly Hills and this is a way different view than we're used to seeing. Typically we either get no view or we just get like a, a peak of the city. Uh, but we're looking back at all these canyons and it's really, really nice. Isn't it peaceful and really nice? Yeah, it's really peaceful. Definitely. Now, we have the Infinity Edge pool in front of us. Nice, simple plaster. We have the mosaic tile all around the coping edge of the pool. This is where we have the steps and the spa, lounge areas right next to the pool. I mean, this is everything you need. You're in Beverly Hills, you have the peaceful view, you got a beautiful modern house, pretty much it. Yeah, I'd, I'd be totally content with this. All right guys, that's it for the backyard. Now, before we see this property at dusk, we're gonna take a little break and we're going to talk to the listing agent of this property, Sally Forster Jones, ask her a few questions. She's one of the most successful real estate agents we have here in the city. Let's see what she has to say about this property. All right, everyone, we have Sally here, who is a listing agent. Sally, thank you for allowing us to tour your amazing listing. Uh, I would like to ask you your opinion and your take on Truesdale. Why Truesdale is so special? Well, Truesdale, first of all, Truesdale is in Beverly Hills. So being in the city of Beverly Hills is a big deal. Uh, Beverly Hills 90210 is world renowned. Everyone knows the zip code. And so Beverly Hills is a big deal. Truesdale is special. And the thing that makes it special is that Primarily, you know, is really the views. People love the views. So the view properties in Truesdale just get the most attention 
because they are special. And what has happened with Truesdale is that over the years, there have been more international buyers that have come to Los Angeles, and they particularly love views. And so that has become much more important. And so Truesdale as, as a whole has gone up in recognition, in value, in desirability, starting with the international buyer and then a lot of the celebrities. I, I feel you. Well, I would like to ask, this house is a really unique setting and it encompasses a lot of the things you mentioned. You get the views, you kind of get the privacy. I would love to hear your thoughts on some of your favorite details in this house. Well, I love the house. I think the house is absolutely, the energy, the feel is fabulous. And so you walk in and you just get it right away. It's contemporary, but it's really, really warm. So it's a warm contemporary with a lot of wood, a lot of soft tones, a lot of volume. So just walking in, you get that whole open, spacious feel. From the second that you walk through the door and approach the door, the view is in your face. So that is one feature, but there's something that's really unique here. The closets, and particularly the Amazing. women's closet, is out of control. So it Amazing. is like one of the best closets ever. And I just, you know, I want to take that closet home with me. Uh, I feel you. I mean, it's super <laughs> spacious. When we walked in there, we couldn't believe the size of it. It's definitely very spacious. Um, Sally, I have a personal question for you. You've been on top of your business for a very long time. LA is a very competitive market. Tell me some of the things that you really focus on with your team and your company that really helps you guys stay on top of your business. The first thing is I love what I do. So every single morning I wake up and I'm, I'm excited and I'm happy and I don't know what the day is going to bring in the adventure. So that's something that's the basic thing is I, I really love real estate. And uh, you know, I don't sleep, I don't eat, I live pretty much now. Sounds like us. <laughs> I, I mean, real estate is it. I, the rest of my life is sort of fits in. Works around it. Right, exactly. So it, it's, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but it's, it's really true. And um, my team, really special thing about my team is the culture. Everyone on the team is part of, it's like an inner circle and, and family. And so it's, it's, uh, there's a lot of support, there's a lot of just opinion, support, you know, brainstorming energy. So it works really, really well. Uh, and I want to compliment on that. Every time I interact with someone from your team, the level of professionalism on top, everybody's on top of their game, everybody knows their tasks. So I, I, I feel that. I, I can feel the professionalism throughout everybody that works around you and with you. Um, Thank you. No worries. Um, I have one more question. So. When we started doing these home tours, we started featuring homes at dusk or at night uh -huh. because especially these view properties, they just have a certain different feel to them. We, do you prefer to show the houses or see the houses during the day or think certain houses actually shows better at night? Well, most buyers want to see the house first during the day mm -hmm. because they see the lights, so, you know, they get just a you know, better visibility really of what the house is like. This particular home has outstanding lights throughout the skylights the again the lighting here is great but at night it is magical it just trans uh, transforms itself into something where you know one is cozy but it's it's just also it's an entertainer's home so that whole feeling of dusk night is is just transforms everything so i hate to say it, but i love it during the day and i love it during the night awesome or the cool. evening if you don't mind, we would like to stay a few more hours here so we can show everybody how it looks at dusk. Okay, go for it. guys that's it for the video to sum up my thoughts on this house number one location we're located in Truesdale Estates here in Beverly Hills number two single story beautiful brand new construction modern architecture we have these glass doors all opening up to the backyard a lot of natural light coming in and all the finishes are gorgeous not to mention you get four spacious guest suites and an office I mean what else you need 
And that wraps our tour for this house. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give us a like if you have any questions or input. As always, leave us a comment down below. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to our channel, even hit the notification bell. We only post videos once a week. Before we end this video, I wanna thank the listing agent, Sally Forster Jones, for allowing us a tour another one of her amazing listings. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.